Good afternoon guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. Today is Friday but it's felt like Saturday all day to me so far because um, my dad and both my brothers are home because it's Good Friday. Um, I didn't know my dad was taking off actually until I heard him when I woke up this morning. I was like, that guy sounds a lot like dad. And then I was like, is it Matthew? And then I was like, no, because he's talking to Matthew. <laughs> I was like, that's, there's no way that's possible. So um, yeah, but I think last year Matthew didn't have off on Good Friday or Jack didn't or somebody didn't end up having off on Good Friday. I don't think last year or like two years ago or in previous years one of them didn't end up having off um, for some weird reason. Um, but this year they actually both had off. I knew Matthew did but I didn't know Jack did for sure. And then all of a sudden my dad was off. So it felt like Saturday to me even though it wasn't. It was Friday. But tomorrow we have got a um, volleyball tournament to go to. Um, for Matthew and right now I'm actually going to bake the cake and cupcakes that we're gonna have for Easter which I am super scared guys because I am I don't want to say I'm a great baker or anything like that I mean decent um, I can follow a recipe well but um, you know and I love buttercream frosting it is like my favorite thing on earth and I have you know buttercream frosting recipe down to a T so that's what I'm actually gonna use to decorate and my mom who's actually taken several baking classes actually gave me some really good tips on what to do so what I'm gonna do is make the cake tonight and freeze it overnight because it's actually supposed to help I don't remember what my mom was saying Oh, I think she said it was so that if you freeze it, the crumbs actually don't end up, like, if you're trying to frost the cake, the crumbs won't end up in the, like, frosting. If you're frosting it, if it's, like, hot or still warm or even a cooled cake, sometimes the crumbs can end up getting in your frosting. That's not necessarily the way I'm frosting it, though, because I'm going to pipe with it. So what I'm going to do is make this recipe, and what I'm thinking is... I don't know. Okay, guys, this is this is what I'm going to be using, right? And the recipe that I'm going to do calls for um, it would make 12 cupcakes. So I'm going to make 12 cupcakes along with the cake, and I think that should be enough. I'm not totally sure how many people we're having. So I'm going to do the recipe, but I don't know for sure if I need to double it to make this size cake. Um, only because it seems a little bit smaller than like a normal sized cake like because normally a cake box mix that for me normally ends up making uh, 24 cupcakes um you know is normally two like square pan sizes and this to me seems as small or as it like the same size i'm not totally sure guys i don't know how much to duplicate the recipe to make this and so I'm really scared and I'm like should I just do cupcakes because cupcakes would just be really easy but we bought this and I want to use it then I also got like a little cake decorating kit from Aldi also so I'm gonna put it in the freezer overnight anyways guys and then tomorrow before we leave for the volleyball tournament I'm gonna pull it out most likely um, so that it can defrost and by the time we get home then I'm going to frost it and then refreeze it again and then take it out probably before I go to bed maybe hopefully I'll have enough time um, and then it will be like nice hard crusted frosting <laughs> not like super hard and crusty frosting but you guys know what I mean like bakery style um, which again is another thing that I was reading about too um, and so you know and the tips my mom gave me <laughs> so I'm really struggling here that guys I don't know what I want to do I don't know if I should duplicate the recipe you know what I might do I'm gonna Duplicate the recipe because no matter what I'm still going to end up needing enough to do 12 cupcakes So I think I'm gonna duplicate it. I don't know if I should do three times a recipe is what I'm gonna need for the cupcakes and the cake or if it's gonna only be two times the recipe What I'm gonna need for the cake and the cupcakes because I know that I'll need at least one Times the recipe for the 12 cupcakes since that's what it calls for but I honestly can't tell and I keep trying to judge it I'm like hmm do, you th do I think it'll work do I think it won't work I'm thinking it's gonna be double honestly but I'm not totally sure because I'd assume if they were selling it they'd sell it and be like oh and you could do it with like you know just a regular like the cake mix that you buy at the grocery store like pre-made stuff but since i'm using a homemade recipe i'm not totally sure um but i do have super cute little cupcake liners they're actually spring tiny and um i got these at valley produce and so i was like perfect i'm gonna use these i actually got them last year and so um i have like two sets of them so anyways though guys i'm freaking out here but my mom's asleep too so i can't ask her so i'm like okay i'm gonna have to figure this out on my own okay like it's gonna come crunch time so 
yeah we'll see guys let's we're gonna test this out and see how it ends up working but i'm just really nervous because i'm kind of like self-conscious of like my baking and my cooking for other people um like people in my house are like you know my grandma lived with us like i wasn't super self-conscious of it because my parents and family members would eat anything like my dad's literally ate dog food and i could serve that to them <laughs> probably be like okay oh, let this taste delicious um but my dad actually did eat dog food and that wasn't a really old vlog if you guys search for that you guys could probably find it um but anyways you know so but when it comes to like other people that i'm serving food for or a dessert or something like that i'm really self-conscious like um i made fudge for christmas and um, my mom gave it away as gifts to I think two of my aunts and I was like really scared I was like oh my gosh what if they don't like it you know or like what if it really wasn't that great um like I just I'm really really self-conscious <laughs> and so that's why I'm like super scared and my aunt who's a baker isn't going to be there this Easter so they're not bringing any you know desserts or anything like that so I'm like oh, I have to try and like match her skill level and I'm really scared um but you know she's like she does amazing cake honestly guys her and her twin sister are like oh my gosh the stuff that they bake it's not even like the display is beautiful and it tastes amazing like that's when you know that you're a good baker is when the stuff that you make turns out well looks good and it tastes good <laughs> mine I'm scared that it's gonna not look good maybe taste good or look good and not taste good <laughs> I'm betting on one or the other. So anyway, so guys, I'm gonna get to this because it's actually a little bit later. It's like 8.30 right now, and I'll probably take a shower at like 10 o'clock or something like that. So anyway, so guys, I'm gonna get on this. The cake turned out okay. Um, the recipe that I used is for like a very light cake, um, like very moist and just like a light cake in general. And so um, it was, it took a lot longer to bake though than I had anticipated. It said about 20 minutes and I think the cupcakes took about 30 minutes to do and it's four cupcakes and then normally you add like 10 or so more minutes on for the cake. I probably ended up adding on 15 to 20 more minutes for the cake. So the cake I think ended up taking, let's see, let's, that would be 30, uh, maybe 40, 50 or so minutes to bake. Um, and so it's actually 11.15 right now. I'm going to try and take a shower real quick. I've got to get up early tomorrow so that I can, um, we're going to go to the grocery stores first because I think we have these tournament starts at like 9 o'clock or something like that. He said probably like we'd be, 10 o'clock we'd end up being like miss a little bit of it probably, maybe the first game at most. So we're going to try and go to the grocery stores early in the morning because I have to get stiff for Easter. We're also making a fruit plate, um, that we're bringing for like the appetizer, the lunch breakfast brunch thingy um and then for the what's it called um and then we're also making the cake too which is done and the thing with the cake was is that it turned out and the silicone thing actually ended up working um pretty well the only thing was is that i should have maybe let it sit for just a little bit longer um because it was it still needed like a little bit of time to sit i think um for it to come out of the silicone first um because it's still a little sticky and the only thing is too the ears on it were kind of like they started to kind of like bend in there and then also to one of the other parts oh i think like the part where they it was like holding the egg on there i don't know if you guys will be even able to tell but like the ears like around like this part because it's so thin you know and then this part too kind of started to separate so um that was when i was taking it out of it but overall i think it actually did work decently well and it's nothing that a little frosting can't fix either honestly guys um because once it's frosted you won't even really be able to tell so um that's okay and the cupcakes turned out fine too like i said they're all in the freezer now so that's what we've got the cake is in here and then the cupcakes are all in here so that's good and then tomorrow in the morning once it's frozen over i will take it out and then while we're gone at the grocery stores and the tournaments like i said we'll most likely um leave it out so that it can kind of defrost and then i can frost it tomorrow so that is my goal um and i'm going to need to get a couple things for that I think we have confectioner sugar, but I might need another thing of it. Um, and then I have vegetable shortening that I'm going to use too to give it that nice kind of like baker quality, um, <laughs> you know, buttercream frosting instead of just like a traditional 
um, at home DIY buttercream frosting, which is normally just like confectioner sugar and butter. But if you want the good stuff that like holds form, it's vegetable shortening or some type of shortening. That's what I'm using. Um, and then I've got my tips too that I'm going to try and use out from my cake decorating little kit thingy that I got. But that'll all be in tomorrow. But what I'm also going to do for the fruit that I'm making for tomorrow is actually use these little um, like the what's it called cookie cutter things and I'm going to take them and then do like a big cookie cutter and cut like a watermelon slice or whatever and then inside of that slice that I did do this one and then do the same thing with like cantaloupe or pineapple or whatever and then replace them with the opposite like alternative ones if that makes sense so um I think that'll be kind of fun and cute so that's also what I have to do tomorrow but I also need to get all the fruit for that so that's why we have to go to the grocery stores tomorrow plus doing just the normal grocery shopping which will hopefully if if we leave by 8 o'clock no later we should be back by 10 o'clock for sure and then I'm just gonna throw everything in the fridge once we get back home and then we should be good to go to the volleyball game so um, I will have volleyball footage most likely for you guys tomorrow um, I don't know if I told you guys too but I did get two vlogs edited for today so I'm so happy about that and just happy that things are kind of starting to get done I didn't do any laundry or dishes but dishes wise I probably just have enough to actually do a load right now and that's after the baking so um, I didn't even have a, it wasn't able to even really run the dishwasher this morning um, and then laundry wise I'll probably have to do a couple more loads but for the most part I'm actually getting really close to being all caught up with the laundry which is good and then two getting a little bit of a head start on the vlogs but anyways I will have volleyball footage for you guys tomorrow and probably some other fun Easter type stuff um, but if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see you guys all tomorrow so bye guys